Cartier with your wrist no. In the ace with my nigga with Real nigga in that willing rich Ain't stopping till I What is up? My fellow hip hop heads and music lovers in general My name is G-Bands and welcome back to my channel Welcome back to the third upload for today The third album I got to review today So let's get right to it uh, So for this video I'm gonna be reviewing the fourth studio album by Machine Gun Kelly and the album is entitled Hotel Diablo now before I say anything else I like Machine Gun Kelly okay um, for those of you for, for those of you that know um, that know me personally and have been watching me since January then you know that Eminem is my favorite rapper of all time and as an Eminem fan I guess I should be on that whole you know like fuck Machine Gun Kelly uh, wagon but honestly, I wasn't, uh, you know. Machine Gun Kelly was somebody that I uh, really, like, enjoyed uh, listening to, you know, way before this stupid-ass, like, petty-ass beef happened. Um, and, you know, I think I think he makes, a, like, like, really great music. I think he makes, like, pretty decent music that, you know, that I've, like, been enjoying, that I think anyone can enjoy. Um, and, you know, it was just the unfortunate circumstance that, you know, they started that uh, Machine Gun Kelly and Eminem, two rappers that I really like, you know, started beefing with each other. And, you know, it was really unfortunate because I felt that maybe, you know, Eminem and Machine Gun Kelly could have made a pretty, like, good song together, you know, and it's just, it's just, like, un unfortunate that, like, you know, they, they, they had to, like, beef over, like, the most stupidest shit ever. You know, it, it, it's exactly how I felt when, you know, when when uh, Jordan Lucas and Logic started beefing because I actually liked those two. And, you know, I, I I like I heard him on a on a song together with Tech Nine, and I was like, you know, I think these guys can um can can do like like some pretty good songs together, and then uh they started uh beefing over the most stupidest shit ever, and for a long time I was like, yeah, I don't think Logic and Jordan are ever gonna like you know like like uh like make amends pretty much um. And then ISIS came out, and I was like, fuck yeah. So maybe there's a chance for Machine Gun Kelly and Eminem to uh, work together. But Eminem has said, you know, many times that he, like, does not like him whatsoever. So, you know, I guess I guess we'll have to see. Um, but anyways, en enough of all that shit. Um, let let's get right to the, to the album review. And um, to be honest, when I first uh, heard that the album was going to be called Hotel Diablo, I was like, fuck, this man really, really likes that word devil, huh? It's like in any in, in any language, he's going to use that, that fucking devil name. And so honestly, I went into this album expecting him to like throw shade at all his haters and once again, throw shade at Eminem. And, you know, I didn't get that. I got something a lot more different, uh, something a lot more surprising. And honestly, in my opinion, I think this is the best album that Machine Gun Kelly has ever dropped ever since General Admission. You know, General Admission is my favorite Machine Gun Kelly album. It will always be up there as the best Machine Gun Kelly album. Uh, but Hotel Diablo might be my second favorite uh, Machine Gun Kelly album now because it honestly was really good. Um, you know, no disrespect to anybody that liked the bloom and to anybody that liked the binge album um but i personally you know i personally didn't think those were like his his like best albums um so you know that's just me but you know hotel diablo is a really good one and you know and i'm not saying that he doesn't uh throw shade at eminem at some point like like there is like like one song on the album I think it's called uh, 13th Floor, where he does like do a little bit of an Eminem diss, where, where it's like, I just came back f after a legend tried throwing a kill shot at me, he missed, or some shit like that. Um, you know, it, it's, it's just something little like that that I'm pretty sure is not going to cause another beef, because to be honest, I don't think they should beef anymore. It's like, you know, it's, it, it's enough. Um, but yeah, he does throw shit at Eminem once, but it's not like a big deal, pretty much. Um, what I really want to talk about this album is that Machine Gun Kelly got a lot more vulnerable and a lot more open, should I say. Um, it's something that I, like, was never expecting to, um, to, like, hear from him. You know, he, um, he pretty much, like, like, comes face to face with the devil. It's what Hotel Diablo means, you know, he, he comes face to face with the devil and he's pretty much fighting back and forth, 
forth with all, with all of his demons and pretty much he like puts out his true emotions that he hides under this like you know party animal you know tough guy persona because you know i heard a lot of shit from machine Gun kelly that i would never expect to hear from you know how he you know um for those of you that know like machine Gun kelly's like personal life then you'd know that his mom like walked out of him and you know i'm pretty sure he, like his dad also did too and so you know he talks about his mom a lot on this on this album and um you know it's, it's honestly really sad you know it's like I don't know it's like this man he, he he lived a hard life and it's like you know and it's like he he, he finally like like he, he's at his he's at a point in his life where he's like following his dreams and he's like living his best life ever and it's like you know and it's like he he tries to like hide his emotions from the world but it's like in reality he's like you know hurting inside and like you know he he knows he he like fuck ups a lot you know, he doesn't know what to do about it, you know, um, I think my favorite song on the album is probably, uh, uh, Glass House, because that, like, holy shit, like, that fucking song was really, really sad, um, gave me a lot of goosebumps, you know, he, like, talks about, you know, how he, you know, how he, he attempted suicide at some point, you know, after putting his daughter to, to sleep, to, uh, after, you know, he, he tucked her in, you know, kissed her goodnight and everything, and then after, like, she fell asleep. He, like, went into the kitchen and, like, tried committing suicide or whatever, uh, which is something that I didn't think Machine Gun Kelly would have ever done. Um, you know, it's um, it's pretty hard. And I think the other reason why I like this song is because he, like, you know, pays tribute to, like, a lot of a lot of his, like, friends, a lot of famous artists that have died, you know. Um, I know he, he talks about uh, uh, Nipsey Hussle a lot. You know, he, he talks about Mac Miller, you know, uh, he says, I just left Pittsburgh. I, I miss my homie Mac. And then he also said, uh, he, he also talks about Chester Bennington when he says, you know, um, last time I left the stage, I was face to face with Chester and now he's gone or something. Or I think, I think it was something like that. But, you know, it, it, like that part, like really hit me hard because I know him and like Chester Bennington had like a really like good, like relationship together. And he even talks about like some, some like, some like, uh, some regrets that he wishes he could have done like you know for example on, on the same song glass house he says i wish i wish me and little peep could have talked but now i can't have that back uh which is you know we just said you know like little peep left this world way too early you know he didn't even get a chance to like you know show his like true potential so you know like it's like the more of like what could have been and, you know it's just a really it's a really sad song you know it's um i um you know, as somebody who has lost a lot of people in his life to death, it's like I um I can really as lot to this album. You know, there's this song called Death in My Pocket on the same album and it's like, you know, it's like the whole talk of like, you know, how he lost a lot of people, you know, like and how like he, he feels like he always like like loses his like good friends to like death, which is why he has death in his pocket. And it's like 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 this album was like such an an emotional roller coaster and it's like you know, I appreciate that Machine Gun Kelly is like, you know, moving on with everything that happened last year with the beef and just like, you know, and just like decided to like, um, move on and make, and make, and, and just like focus on making, uh, his, his music for his fans. And, and you know, I really, I really appreciate what he did here. It's like, it, it's, it's like something raw, it's something real, it's something that I'm pretty sure no one would have expected. So you know what, you know what, MGK, like you, you honestly are a great rapper. And you know, I hope, I hope you, you, you keep going on with your shit. And I hope, you know, you like feel better because um, I'm pretty sure that holding all that in was like something really tough to let it out. So I appreciate that. And to anybody else out there who is feeling sad and who is like, you know, high balling up your emotions like that, you know. It, it, like l let it out talk to somebody talk to a therapist you know talk to a friend just let it out because it's only gonna get worse the more you bottle it up inside it's like you, you gotta let, you gotta let those emotions out because they're gonna eat you alive one day if you like pretend to like if you, if, if you pretend like that it doesn't bother you then it's gonna it's gonna hit you really hard so um yeah that's that's my little my little word of, of advice to anybody out there and 
once again, shout out to Machine Gun Kelly for this album because it's um, it was a really good one. <laughs> um, and with that being said, I guess that's pretty much it. So um, hope you guys enjoy my review. Uh, follow me on Instagram down below as always. DM me for requests. Uh, go ahead and follow Machine Gun Kelly on Instagram down below. His new album Hotel Diablo is out now. Go go listen to it if, if you haven't already. Um, it's not, I, I promise you it's going to be something uh, worth your time. Um, and with that being said, that's pretty much it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the fourth and final upload for today. And don't forget to stay happy. I fuck up and lose control. Burn so many bridges, got nowhere to go.